In this section, we will talk about monitoring performance with IP SLA service level agreement. IP SLA overview. As you know, the IP SLA feature from Cisco allows us to collect the information of specific network types between the two devices. The two devices can be connected to each other like in the diagram or can be many hops away from each other in our IP network. In order to set up the IP SOA, we need a device that acts as the IP SOA source. The IP SOA source device have to support the IP SOA control protocol so that it can generate the IP SOA test type traffic. And the remote device is the IP SOA responder. The IP SOA responder can be any IP device, but for certain test type, the IP SOA responder must also support IP SOA control protocol. In order to have the correct timing information, it is recommended that the two devices have to configure to sync its time with an NTP server. And here's how it works. First of all, the IP SLA source will generate the IP SLA test type request. The IP SLA responder will add the timestamp to IP SLA response package that is going to send and it also flag the time the test package arrived and left the device and after that it will respond the with the IP SLA test type response package the IP SLA source device will extract the contents of the IP SLA response package to access how well the source and the destination was able to communicate. In the next slide, we will talk about the IP SLA test type. IP SLA test operation. As you can see, this table lists all the test types that can be performed by a Cisco device. The first one is the ICMP ECO. The next one is PATH ECO and then PATH register, DNS, DHCP, FTP, HTTP, UDP ECO, UDP register, TCP connect, However, you can notice that only the path register, UDP register, that's required for the target device have to support the IP SLA control protocol. Configuring IP SLA. In order to configure IP SLA, we need to configure it on the IP SLA source and IP SLA responder. In the IP SLA responder, we need to configure it with the command IP SLA responder at the configuration mode. In the IP SLA source, we need to perform several steps. First of all, as you can imagine, we can define multiple tests. So 
we first need to define the IP SLA operation number and extract its bound with one operation number and after that we need to specify the test type for that specific operation number each test type will have different parameters we need to exploit more when we go to the test type and we can specify the frequencies in seconds before is 60 seconds and after that we need to specify the SP IP SLA schedule when it's gonna happen so the command is IP SLA schedule and we specify the operation number for the life of the schedule we can select it forever this means it will not go non-stop or we can specify the number of second after that it's gonna finish and we can specify the start time or pending or now or after a specific time and by default the test result will stay in the memory forever but we can specify the the HL parameter in second to wipe out the test result from the memory and we can specify its recurring or not so that's it we after that the IPSLA saw will send the test type to the responder and the responder will respond with the information to the SLA source and based on that the we can make the IPSLA source to perform a certain action Securing IP SLA. We can secure IP SLA operation with Meshes Digest 5 authentication so that only known and trusted devices can participate. In order to configure the IP SLA, we need to issue the following command in the IP SLA responder. First, we need to create the key chain and we specify the chain name. In the key chain, we have the key number and key string. And after that, we specify the key chain with the chain name into the IP SLA operation. And we're going to repeat that same commands in the IP SLA source so after that only the devices that have the same keychains can participate in the IP SLA operation showing IP SLA information so after we have the IP SLA's operation is up and running between the source and the responder devices, we can show the IP SLA information with the following commands. First of all, we can display the current IP SLA configuration with this command show IP SLA configuration and we can do that on the IP SLA source device and also in the IP SLA responder device and we can also display the current IP SLA statistics and as you can figure out it's this command should be done on the IP SLA source and the command is show IP SLA statistics aggregated 
operation number these two parameter are optional so that's it we finish the this section for monitoring performance with IPSOA